Hi everyone, welcome to Provisual Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how you can easily set up and showcase your design using Provisual and 3D models. Let's navigate to the 3D model section and select an object for our tutorial. The library contains a vast variety of high quality 3D models and it gets updated weekly. This Formula One car looks great. Let's take a closer look at it. Very cool 3D model. Let's create a design project with it. This is what our model looks like. Look how detailed all the elements are. Just awesome. In the scenes with vehicles, Skybox is a default mode that shows a 3D model in a specific environment. To make the setup of this 3D model easier and more accurate, let's turn off the Skybox mode for a while. You can change the colors of different parts of the 3D model in the Scene Elements tab. Let's try changing the color of the cockpit element. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette, or enter the color code manually, like this. Or, we can add a design to our model right away. To add the design, you can click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. You can also download a UV map and create your design in another editor. I've already prepared some images for our Formula One car. Let's add the first design element. In the opened window, we see the editor where we can move and modify our design. See how the position of our design is displayed on the 3D model in real time in the left window. You can change the opacity to more accurately position your design on the UV map. Let's reset the coordinates of the position of our design. Great. Save the design. Looks very nice. Let's continue adding the parts of our design to the 3D model. The next step is to place it on the nose cone and halo. Our design is gradually transforming this Formula One car. Next, let's add a design to the wings of the car. Excellent result, saving the design again. Now let's move on to the tires element and add a design to all the tires. I prepared a design with rubber textures and the manufacturer's logo in advance. By changing opacity, you can see how the texture of the wheels changes. This is an amazing result. Next, we will change the rim's color. Let's pick a right color, like this one. Great. You can even tweak the colors and adjust the materials of the default car parts. How cool is that? Great result. Our design is perfect for Formula One race car. You can also rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. And turn on moving lights. Now we just need to add a nice background. Let's see what types of pre-made backgrounds we have here. 
we can choose a solid fill as the background or we can go for a gradient fill. Here, we can select the desired colors and also select the direction of the fill, linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've made for you. Now let's go back to the environment settings and turn the skybox mode back on. Let's take a look at the options of HDRI maps. Wow, just look at the reflections, how refined and detailed they are. This is incredible. Let's check other options. It's just some kind of magic, you guys. You don't need to spend a lot of time picking the right environment option just what it takes to showcase any vehicle. Excellent result. Let's save the project. After you've completed your design, you can share it by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Share it with colleagues, friends, or clients. In this tutorial, we made a perfect presentation of a Formula One race car very quickly. Thanks to our design and realistic skybox environment, we hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.